Hey guys, it's Ange here with Keeping Calm and I'm going to show you guys how I change the color in the water on The Sims 4. So here I am just making a quick little pond. Um, I already started this video and uh, I don't think I showed you guys enough of a difference between the water so I wanted to remake it so that's why the outline of the pond is just here. But, um, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to fix that, finish putting the rocks around it, and put the pool underneath it. I love lining pools because I hate the big white outline that they got for pools. So anytime I'm trying to build a lake or um, a beach kind of setting, I always find a way to cover up the big white lines. So here I'm just adjusting it and... I'm gonna finish putting the rocks around it and then I'm gonna show you guys how I make the different change. So they give us that, they give us the water that already comes with the game, but it is so ugly. I do not like the water in The Sims 4, the, the different colors that they give us. And I know they were trying to give us like the ones with the heart leaves and everything like that, but it just looks like murky, dirty water to me with leaves in it. and. <laughs> I don't like that and if you want to make like a beach setting or something you need that kind of crystal clear look so I wanted to figure out how to do that and I found out how to do this by accident I was doing a build and I was grabbing at the carpet and I don't know what happened I don't know if my because when you move the mouse the screen moves so I don't know if I just moved the mouse so fast trying to get to the room that I was going to that it took me outside and over the pool and I always um I always click on um the thing that lets you carpet the whole room at once so when I accidentally went over the pool it put carpet at the bottom of the whole pool and it changed the color and I was I thought that was really awesome because I had no idea you could put water in I mean <laughs> water in a pool I had no idea that you could put carpet in a pool so so I thought that was awesome so I'm gonna show you guys what the water looks like without the reshade and with the reshades there's nothing in this water this is just a regular water so you can see the difference in color with and without the reshade. The reshade already makes the water really, really pretty. This reshade is Compliments of Fantasia. Thank you. It is so pretty. I love using it. I also made my own reshade, but it's specifically for beachy settings just because of the, cur the colors that you use. The pastel colors that you use, like even in your... Um, your um, items that you're going to be putting in in whatever you're building you still use kind of like beachy colors so that you can get that beach feel and um, that my reshade works really well for that I do not know how to um, put my reshades up for download yet but I will be showing you guys that reshade when I um, upload my 6x6 challenge. It is a 6x6 house surrounded by a beach. I love it. It came out really nice. And so here I'm putting the carpet in and this carpet is custom content. Um, I are We don't have anything this blue and this blue is so pretty so I had to get it. And, but the paint that I used for the walls is just a basic paint that is already in the sims 4 and the color of that water is completely different right now than it was prior to so if you if you go back and you look at the reshade color without the carpet and the the um walls painted you can see that it's not as bright and not as tropical but when you put the carpet in and the paint on the walls you can see that it looks a lot more tropical and it's very pretty and with the reshade it just it makes it pop even more so <laughs> I love it I love this reshade and so here is the water before the carpet and the paint and I wanted to make sure I showed you guys the water before the carpet and the paint if you're not using a reshade because if you don't use a reshade it still changes the color and it makes it it still makes it really really pretty um so 
here's the water before the carpet and the paint and then I will show you guys the water with the carpet and the paint and here it is and you can absolutely see a difference and it's really pretty and you can do this with a lot of different um, carpets and a lot of different paints it just depends on what you're trying to make if you're trying to make something that like looks biohazardy for like a special build that you're trying to build um, you can put like green carpet in there or whatever and it comes out really cool although the sims do kind of have that water that looks all green and murky already but this is just I'm just letting you guys know you can change the color of your water using all kind of carpets and paint but this bright color that I'm using here it is custom content I got it from the sims resource I do not have the link but I will look for the link and try to post it below so I want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you would like to see anything else just let me know in the comments below thanks